office, all right? Oh, that looks fine. Well, now, how about some guns? Guns? Got some forty fives here you might like. How about this one? Oh, it's a fancy one. That might suit you. Yeah, that one's all right. Were you able to get that horse I picked up? Oh, yes, I got him all right. Well, I didn't like to park with him, but I finally talked him into it. He's tied right out there in front. Fine. Hmm? How much do I owe you? $210, all told. Well, that's fair enough. to uh, Rainbow Valley? Yeah, it's about 60 miles, right over the range. Ain't any road there, nothing but a trail. You ride straight out of town, take the North Fork, and you can't miss it. The North Fork, yeah. yeah. Fine, thank you. What's the trouble, old timer? You ain't got any water, have you, young feller? My Nellie's just over the rise. She's about done for. Plum tuckered out. Needs water powerful bad. Sure, get on. That Nellie? Yep. That's Nellie. It's an automobile, isn't it? Yes, sure, Bob. Ain't another one like that in the whole county. You mean the whole world? She's a mighty faithful old gal, son. I carry the mail and the gold from the mines in her. See, after Nellie come to this valley, there was a cloud burst and washed out the road. We ain't been able to get a new road put in. They bring in their oil and gas and spare parts for factory. I see. Well, I guess you might as well empty the canteen. All right. You can get it filled up again in Rainbow. It's only eight miles. Thanks. That's where I'm heading for. <laughs> Just keep on this trail. You can't miss it.
old timer. Oh, it's all right. Just crease. You sure have done a good job on that gang. Looks to me like Nellie had the situation pretty well in hand. What were they after? I don't know. Left was a male. First time they ever attacked me. They sure raised old Ned with the miners. What's the matter with the law? Well, they ain't none to speak of. Marshals at the county seat about 60 miles over the range. We ain't got no road. Just a trail. Why don't they build a road? We tried that too, son. The gang keeps running off the workers. Town's folks are getting up a petition to bring law and order in here. Well, I guess that'll fix you up until we can get into a doctor. <laughs> Much obliged, boy. You you better hit your horse on the back and ride in with me. All right, I'll do that. Fix me up. Meantime, make yourself to home down at the post office. All right, old timer, I'll do that. to get rid of this menace. We've got to get some law and order into this valley. We can't do a thing with the marshal on the other side of the mountain. This mob has hampered us in every way. They've driven off our workmen, robbed our pack trains, murdered our fellow citizens. Men, we've got to act. You're right. I know we are lacking in leadership. We need a fighter to take command of our road work. And we need protection for our workers. We sure do. We are prepared to petition, asking the governor of this state to send us the laws so we can wipe out these renegades. And we want the signature of every resident of the valley before it goes to the governor. Boys, let's have your name. Oh, yeah. chance with government property to let that old fossil carry the mails. His lad will come in here any day with a story about being held up and robbed. Like as not, he will. It might interest you to know that the bandits were driven off. What do you mean? I don't think it's necessary to explain to you. I'd like to see the postmaster. I'm the postmistress. Do you mean to tell me that George was held up? Hey, boss, i got to see you right away. All right, I'll be right over. Who was that man? That's his business, stranger. Thanks. Just a minute. I think we've got a little unfinished business. I'd like to know just where you were this afternoon. Yeah? You'll have to find out some things that you wouldn't want to know. bandits that tried to hold you up today. You're crazy. This fellow's been with me all day. You've got the wrong man. Not for my money, I haven't. Can you identify him, old-timer? Well, they was behind me all the time, and I didn't get a good look at him. Well, in that case, I guess we'll have to let him go. But I still think he's a man. Say, that fellow's a fighter. That's what we need around here. 
He just drove in with George. I'll go and have a talk with him. Here, get the rest of these names, will you? All right, buddy. Time is. Oh, oh, Miss Elner. I want you to meet John Martin. He, he's going to live with me for a while. Thanks, Uncle George. I think I've seen about enough of your friend, Mr. Martin. After what he did to Mr. Rogers in spite, I'm surprised he hasn't knocked you unconscious. Well, what do you think of that? He's fallen for you already. Yeah. You're just crazy about me. Hello, George. Hi, fellas. I just watched the way your friend here handled that situation in the street. You are a fighter. And that's one thing we need in this community. Yeah, I'll say he's a fighter. You want to see what he done to that gang when they tried to waylay me today? John, Mr. Powell runs the general store. He's kind of head of things around here. This is John Martin. I'd like to have you take charge of our road crew, Martin. Thanks, Mr. Powell. That sounds mighty interesting. I think I'll take you up on that. Fine. I'm glad you will. You will be doing a great service for the whole valley. What a fine bunch of sheep herders you turned out to be. Let an old man get away from you. Oh, we'd have got him all right. Only this new guy comes up from behind and puts one over on us. Besides, what do you want hail for? I thought you got that girl her post office job. Well, I did. But I didn't know she was going to put old hail in there, and we've got to get him out so we can put our own man in. The only way we can stop that road and get Butch out of the pen. How do you figure? Well, we need that petition to get Butch out. At the same time, we'll keep the law out of this valley. Get it? Yeah, I see. This is where the road used to run before a cloud burst washed most of it away and a landslide covered up the rest. We've set our crews from time to time in an effort to clean it out. But so far, every attempt has been blocked by this gang. Oh, I see what they're trying to do. They figure that if they can keep that road from going through, if they can get the miners to discourage, they'll sell out at the gang's own price. That's it, exactly. We thought we had them licked a short while back when we captured Butch Galt on one of their raids and sent him to prison. We figured that without Butch, they wouldn't get very far. But there still seems to be a pretty definite scheme of organization behind them. I know you probably think that we are taking an awful chance, kicking an outsider like yourself. But I'm a pretty reader of character. And I feel sure that you are on the level. Furthermore, from what George tells me, and from what I saw myself, I think you are the one man who won't be intimidated by this gang. Thanks a lot for your confidence, Mr. Powell. I think I'm going to like this job. I took engineering at school. What are your plans? This is the original survey. The road started here, continued on up the canyon, and across the pass. The first mile up the canyon should be pretty smooth sailing. Well, I don't see where we'll have any trouble as long as you can give me enough men. The only thing we'll have to watch out for is to see that the gang doesn't catch us napping. Well, that part of it is up to you, Martin. I'll see that you get the men and the powder. Well, when can you get underway? I'm ready now. All right, then. We'll start tomorrow. How's it going, son? Oh, great. We're moving right along. And I posted lookout, so we'll be ready for that gang. Say, how long did it feed before I can take Nellie out and show her some others the same breed? Oh, about 60 to 90 days, I guess. We don't run into too much grief. Well, I got all them dynamite to miners to spare. Roger says for us to wait till the men attack. 
Then ride around on the other side of the canyon and start shooting from the rear. That's a signal to get under cover. They're coming from both sides. Get that tin can out of here before it blows us all up. They're making an attack now. on the road, and how you drove those riders off today. Now you've got me all flustered. It's worse now than when you weren't speaking to me. Well, if you'd rather I wouldn't speak to you, it's all right with me. Oh, no, I mean, you've got me all wrong. I mean that, well, I kind of liked you when you were mad at me. And you don't like me now? No, I like you more. And I like you better when you're more bashful and not so boastful. Well, I didn't mean to be so pugnacious the other day, but that friend of Rogers really was one of the bandits that was trying to get George. I'm sure you're mistaken. Mr. Rogers said that Spike was with him all day, and Mr. Rogers is one of the finest men in this town. He got me my job here. Oh, I see. So that's why you're sticking up for him. 
And even if it had, I don't see that it's any of your business. Some place where it's nice and peaceful again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, boss, we gotta get rid of Martin or he's gonna put that road through. Time enough to take care of him when Butch gets out. First thing to do is to get him out. Petition all signed will be turned in to the post office tomorrow. I'll get it if you fellas keep Hale out of the way. The girl tells me that he's meeting the pack train in the morning. Get him, take him to the ranch, and hold him there until I get the petition. Finally, is a lady. She sings to me all day. She purrs and purrs and purrs and purrs and drives my cares away. Oh, the How in the world did you ever find me? It was a cinch. I forgot this is the only car in the valley. I just followed the deck. Now, come on. We can get out this back window. And leave them in the mail? Certainly. Well, I can't do that. I've got to get them out, too. Oh, all right. I'll see if the coast is clear.
day, Miss Eleanor? Yes, just closing. I wonder if you could let me have some stamps. Certainly. About a dollar and twos? on the counter back in the post office. I have the key? Quite certainly. Thanks. I'll be right back.
John Martin ain't around, is he? No, he's not. Expect him? Not exactly. He doesn't come around here much. Well, it's just as well. That guy's an ex-convict. Fell out this whole valley if he had a chance. He wouldn't do that. Oh, wouldn't he? Hey, what's the matter with you? Falling for him? No. I thought you had more sense than that. Sooner or later. Yeah, well, it's not what you think. Your old pal, Butch Golf's in town. He wants to see you. Well, I'd like to see Butch, too. This will block it all right. Don't worry. When this blast goes off, your troubles will be all over. How much longer will it take? Oh, about two more hours. It work faster now that it's daylight. Easy with that dynamite. I'm afraid we've been sold out again by our leader. We've given Martin all night to show up, but he has failed us. Men, we've got to arm ourselves as best we can and meet these desperados and wipe them out once and for all. And now is the time to act. Right. Riders are up at the head of the road getting ready to set off a blast, and Martin is leading them. This is our last chance. 
We've got to save the road or it means the end of this valley. Get every man in the valley. Arm yourselves and meet at the crossroads. It's only a drop over the hill into the pass. We'll be there in no time. Make it out. from the governor. And he says that John Martin is a special agent investigating the activities of Butch Galt in his gang. And he says you're to help him all you can. Seems like I was right about him. That's why I wrote the governor. Well, Uncle George, he's up there with that gang now. Hey, we've got to stop that mob. Come on. But Uncle George, I can't ride. Well, who said anything about riding? Get out of there, boys, and hold them off. Is that thing ready to touch off? Well, sure, but you can't set it off now. It's right on top of your own man.
Rogers, you go down and tell the boys to retreat up over the cliff and to get that bunch under the blast. I'll touch it off in about five minutes, and we'll wipe them all out at once. Okay, Chief. Start your own men, Gulf. Rogers never reached them. Now come on, get up. Get going. You decided to surrender when your men got caught in their own trap. Trap? Well, that's part of the road work. Gold had all the dynamite, so I had to use him and his men to get the road through. We've been investigating this case for a long time. I went to prison to get the goods on Gulf. Why, you... Steady, Gulf. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This young fella... You're a little late, George. The whole thing's cleared up and the road's through. The road's through? Well, look. I didn't think six weeks ago we were going to see that. Hey, John. Remember the battle we had up there? Eh? 